Assalamualaikum Hello everyone, how are you? And welcome back to this channel Today I want to show you how to crochet this beautiful water bottle holder This water bottle holder is made of the multiple of 6 using side saddle stitches Now let's get started the materials I use are polyester threads with a 2.20mm crochet hook from Tulip. It starts with a magic circle. Then, 3 chains which are counted as one double crochet. Make 11 more double crochet in the magic circle, so the total amount of the double crochet are 12. Done. Now fasten the yarn. Make a slip stitch above the first double crochet, not above the three chain. These are the three chains, and the next one is the double crochet, so make a slip stitch above the double crochet. Bring up this yarn tail before continuing the work. Insert the hook into the stitch, grab the yarn tail, and bring it up. Now I will make round two. Start with 3 chains, which are counted as the last double crochet. Make 2 double crochet in 1 stitch. Make 2 double crochet in the next 1 stitch. The round 2 is filled with the double crochet increase, so the total amount of the double crochet throughout the round 2 are 24. 2 double crochet in this stitch. This is the end of round 2. These are the three chains which are counted as the last double crochet. Make the double crochet before the three chains. Make a slip stitch above the first double crochet. Now, Round 3, start with 3 chains, 1 double crochet in the next 1 stitch, followed by 2 double crochet in the next 1 stitch. Back to 1 double crochet, followed by 2 double crochets, or followed by double crochet increase. Repeat this pattern until the end of round 3. This is the end of round 3. 
make one double crochet before the three chains because the three chains are considered as the last double crochet. Then make a slip stitch above the regular double crochet or above the first double crochet. Okay, round 3 is completed. Now round 4, start with 3 chains. Make 1 double crochet in each of the next 2 stitches, followed by 2 double crochets in the next 1 stitch. Back to 1 double crochet in each of the next 2 stitches, followed by 2 double crochets in the next 1 stitch or followed by double crochet increase. This is the last part of round 4. Make 1 double crochet before the 3 chains. The 3 chains are counted as the last double crochet. Then make a slip stitch above the first double crochet. Now, I'm going to make round 5 or the last round. Start with 3 chains. Make 1 double crochet in each of the next 3 stitches. Two double crochets in the next one stitch or double crochet increase. Back to one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. The next one is two double crochets in one stitch or double crochet increase. Repeat this pattern to complete the round 5. This is the end of round 5. Make a double crochet in a stitch under the 3 chains. Then make a slip stitch on the third of the 3 chains. This is because round 5 is the last round of the bottom part of this water bottle holder. So the slip stitch is made on the third chain. Then make one chain and one single crochet in a same stitch. Make one single crochet in each of the next stitches. The amount of the single crochet of this round are 60. This is the end of this round. This one is the last single crochet. Then make a slip stitch above the first single crochet to end this round. Now I'm going to make the main pattern. Start with 4 chains. These 4 chains are only for making the first round of the main pattern. Then make 5 double crochet together in the next 5 stitches. Six loop in the hook, yarn over to complete the pattern. Make a secure chain and make one single crochet in a six stitch. Then make the second main pattern, start with three chains, followed by five double crochet together in the next five stitches. Six loops on the hook, yarn over to complete the pattern. Make a secure chain, then make one single crochet in a six stitch. Done. 
Then the third main pattern, repeat the second pattern, start with 3 chains, followed by 5 double crochet together in the next 5 stitches. Six loop on the hook, yarn over to complete the pattern. One secure chains and one single crochet and a six stitch. Done, and this is what the pattern looks like. Repeat the pattern until the end of this first round. This is the end of this first round. I will make the last main pattern of this round. Start with 3 chains and make 5 double crochet together in the next 5 stitches. There are 6 loops in the hook. Yarn over to complete this pattern. Make a secure chain and make one single crochet under the four chains made at the beginning of the round. To make the second round, firstly, make three chains and turn the work. Then, make one single crochet and the third stitch from the three chains. After this, make 3 more chains, then make 5 double crochet together in this chain space. There are 6 loops on the hook, yarn over to complete the pattern. Then make a secure chain and make 1 single crochet and the 3rd stitch from the main pattern. To make the next pattern, start with 3 chains, then 5 double crochet together in a chain space. There are 6 loops on the hook, yarn over to complete the main pattern. Make one secure chain and make one single crochet on the third stitch from the main pattern. Done. Repeat these patterns until the end of round two. This is the end of round two. I'm gonna make the last main pattern. Just like the previous pattern, start with three chains followed by five double crochet together in a chain space six loops on the hooks yarn over pull it through all loops and make one secure chain then find the first single crochet after that make a slip stitch above it Okay, perfect. Then, to start the third round of the main pattern, start with 3 chains. Then, turn the work. Make a single crochet on the third stitch from the 3 chains. 1, 2, 3. To start the main pattern of the third round, start with 3 chains, 
just like the previous two rounds, make 5 double crochets together in a chain space. There are 6 loops on the hook. Yarn over pulley through all those loops and make one secure chain. After that, find a third stitch from the main pattern and make a single crochet above it. Make a single crochet in this stitch. Okay. The next pattern. I will start with 3 chains. Then, make 5 double crochet together in a chain space. Six loops on the hook, yarn over pull it through all the six loops and make one secure chains. Make one single crochet in the third stitch from the main pattern. Okay, down, then repeat the patterns to finish the third round. I'm at the end of the third round, the next one is the last main pattern. Start with 3 chains, followed by 5 double crochet together in a chain space. Six loops on the hook, yarn over pull it through all those six loops. One secure chains, then find the first single crochet. Here it is. Make slip stitch in this stitch. Okay, down. This is what the pattern looks like. Repeat the patterns until you get at the height of your water bottle. Well, I've got the height that fit the size of my water bottle and this is what it looks like. Now I will make another part of this water bottle holder. This part is the spiral single crochet, so I will fill each of the stitches of these rounds with one single crochet and I will fill each of the chain spaces with two single crochets. One single crochet in this stitch. This is the first chain space. Make two single crochets in a chain space. One single crochet in the next one stitch. One single crochet in the next one stitch. One single crochet in a bigger stitch. Two single crochets in a chain space. Repeat the pattern and make spiral single crochets as much as three rounds. This is the last round of spiral single crochets. This one is the beginning point, and the next one is the last single crochets. Then I will cut off the yarn. Then, I will use the pastry needle to hide this yarn tail inside this water bottle holder. You can also hide it using a smaller crochet hook.
finally cut this leftover yarn. Then determine the positions of the left and the right side of the handle. Put a stitch marker on the desired position. Make it like this. Then start to make the handle and a second stitch from the stitch marker. Insert your hook here. Make chain one. Then make one single crochet and a same stitch. Remove the stitch marker. After that, make one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. Amount of the single crochet which are used for making this handle are five. After making five single crochets, make chain one, then the work, then Make one single crochet in each of the next five stitches. Then make 23 rows of reversible single crochets in total for the left and for the right part of this handle. This is what the handle looks like. It is made of 23 rows of reversible single crochets. And Another one is also made of 23 rows of reversible single crochets. Now we'll cut the yarn and I will stitch together both sides of the handle by sewing them together using a tapestry needle. For the final part, I will make one round of single crochet throughout this right and left side of the handle. This single crochet can be started at any stitch you want. I will start at the stitch close to the handle. Start with a slip stitch in a chain one. Then I will make a single crochet in the same stitch. one single crochet in the next one stitch. This stitch is the end of the single crochet before, uh, before the handle. The next one is the beginning of the handle. So I'll make two single crochets together through these two stitches. There are three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull it through those three loops. 
Then I will make one single crochet in each of the next stitches. This is the beginning point. I will cut the yarn to end this project. Then I will use a fast ready needle to stitch together the first and the last single crochet. And I will also use this fast ready needle to have this yarn tail inside this auto bottle holder This is what it looks like and this is how to use it. The size I made for this project really fits my water bottle. This is what it looks like. Well everyone, I hope you like this pattern. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to share it with your friend, with your family or with the people around you. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. See you again on the next video. Have a good day and happy crochet.